In a world of skyrocketing prices, supply chain issues, as well as a greater need to look at the environmental impacts with everything, are reusable incontinence products viable for an active life in 2022 and beyond? In the second video in this series, we will explore a few reusable pull-up options to see how they may fit into your life and bladder control needs. Incontinence products are not cheap. Please help us thank our Patreon partners, those that choose to use our product links, as well as those that gave us a thank you here on YouTube. And of course, you for watching. All funds we receive help us continue to make more videos. For this review, we selected the following pull-on style cloth diapers and purchased three of each for testing. These products were chosen because the brands are well known, have a good history as well as were available for purchase at time of testing. Leak Master Pull-On Style Adult Diaper, a 100% cotton flannel diaper, priced at $25.28 each and made in Pakistan. Kins Pull-On Adult Cotton Diaper No. 10700, a 100% cotton outer layer with a polyester and cotton center panel, priced at $32 to $36 each and made in Canada. Dairy Wear Reusable Adult Cloth Diaper, a pull-on adult cloth diaper made from 100% organic cotton, soft flannel cloth with highly absorbent layers of soft terry. Priced at $60.99 to $75.99 and made in the USA. Overall the quality, materials and craftsmanship of each of the products for review are very high. They all use soft fabrics, mostly cotton. All have great elastic leg and waistbands. The craftsmanship of all these products are top notch and we found no issues with any of these even after well over 50 washing and almost 150 drying cycles each. For the most part, the products are similarly designed and constructed. Simple pull-on style design with elastics in the legs and waist. The Leakmaster pull-up has one design feature not found on the other two, in that the internal absorbency is sewn in a way that allows the product to dry more evenly while still being attached. It separates a bit and allows the drying to be significantly faster. The Gary Wear Pant is the only one advertised as 100% organic cotton. This product usually took one extra drying cycle with medium heat over the Babykins and two cycles more than the Leakmaster pull-ups. The Babykins inner absorbent core has a polyester and cotton blend and we only mention this as this is the only one not advertised as 100% cotton. Reusable products are usually designed to be used with multiple layers for custom absorbency. For this review, we tested these products as sold individually with no additional absorbency such as boosters. For our first tests, we tested these products without waterproof covers to see how they manage fluids alone. Our first test is a normal flow standing test and 200 milliliters capacity. In this test, all the products absorbed only a small amount of fluid before needing to rely on a waterproof cover. The Leakmaster average absorption was 75 milliliters. The Babykin's average absorption was 75 milliliters. The Gary Wear average absorption was 110 milliliters. For our second test, a slow drip of 700 milliliters to test how the products manage fluid in a stress or overflow style of incontinence. In this test, all the products were able to absorb a decent amount of fluid before needing to rely on a waterproof cover. The Leakmaster average absorption was 243 milliliters. The Babykin's average absorption was 213 milliliters. The Gary Wear average absorption was 338 milliliters. Lastly, we will test to see how well the products lock in fluid after saturation by allowing the product to drip for 20 minutes after an 800 milliliter wetting to see how much fluid is locked into the fabrics. This test shows optimal performance and likely not representative of real world use performance. The Leakmaster average maximum absorption was 513 milliliters. The Babykin's average maximum absorption was 495 milliliters. The Gary Wear average maximum absorption was 588 milliliters. Because all three of these products require a separate waterproof cover for use, to fairly test these products we also opted to test each pull-up with a wide variety of waterproof covers. North Shore Trifecta Polyurethane Laminate Waterproof Cover Dairy Wear Active Polyurethane Laminate Waterproof Cover Babykin's Vinyl Pant No. 20300V Kleinert's Duralite Nylon Pant Howlin PVC Pant Sani Pant Polyester Pant In Control Form Fitting Latex Pant in control, comfort rubber pants. Aimer vinyl pants. Leakmaster vinyl pants. We tested each pull up with each of the waterproof covers. These tests roughly mirrored the tests without covers and the results proved to show more of a performance difference of the waterproof covers themselves over the absorbency of the cloth diapers in this review. 
Our review of the waterproof covers will be a separate video. However, we did note one important fact with all of these waterproof covers and cloth absorbent pants. The shape of the waterproof covers are all designed to accommodate a wide range of absorbency use and the possible resulting bulk. Once fluid was not able to be contained in the fabrics, it was able to pull up in the excess folds of the waterproof covers, leading to leaks. This is much more evident in the standing test, but even sitting or laying down, the fluid can pull up in these folds and these almost always led to leaks. For our real-world testing, we use each cloth diaper pull-ups with all 10 waterproof covers at least three times each, doing real-world activities and average the results of each use in covers. The LeakMaster average absorption was 432 milliliters and averaged three hours before needing to change. The Babykin's average absorption was 435 milliliters and averaged 3.2 hours before needing to change. The Gary Wear average absorption was 497 milliliters and averaged 3.7 hours before needing to change. The final results, the pull-ups all performed about the same in all of the tests. When combined with the waterproof covers, the products had very inconsistent performance. This is mostly to do with how cloth products absorb fluid. Fluid not being absorbed fast enough would pull in the waterproof covers and any movement could and would cause a leak. The position of the wear and activity level also played a role in the overall performance. We chose the sizing of the products for our stand-in and real-world tester to fall in the midpoint of the size range for each product, taking into account the shrinkage each manufacturer advises which occurs after several washes. What we found is that each product was bigger after shrinkage than the suggested size range. For instance, the Leak Master Large size has a recommended size of 30 to 36 inches. However, this fit our tester's waist of 40 inches comfortably, and the overall fit of the smaller size was much better than the size purchased for the tester, and this sizing confusion proved true for all of the products tested. When purchasing products, it may be much harder to find the proper size of these products for each person, as our body shapes vary greatly from person to person. Based on these observations, we still recommend trying to purchase a product that fits somewhere in the midpoint of the sizing range of each product, including the possible shrinkage. However, for your body shape, you may find that going down a size is best. The combined pull-ups and waterproof covers, as tested, will do better for people with milder levels of incontinence in seated and laying down positions, and who are not overly active. For people with heavier flows and larger voids, you will need multiple layers of boosters or additional layers of pull-ups, but it is possible to add enough absorbency, although they may be a bit bulky. The cloth pull-ups, as tested, are just not able to absorb fast enough for heavier incontinence. In general, cloth absorbency is also prone to press out issues. While given enough time, cloth is able to absorb a good deal of fluid. It does not lock it in well. Changing positions such as sitting after standing is most likely to cause a leak. For people that have leakage issues with disposables at night, these pull-ups with a waterproof cover may be a great addition over a disposable brief to prevent those leaks. These products, like many cloth products, should be able to last for several years worth of use. They are machine washable and dryable using moderate heat. With all cloth reusable products, it is suggested to run a cold water rinse and then a hot water wash cycle with a cloth diaper safe mild detergent and never use any fabric softeners. Drying usually took three drying cycles on medium heat for the Leak Master pull-up, four for the Babykins, and five for the Gary Wear pull-up. These will last much longer if air dried, so to extend the life as well as save electricity, air drying is best when possible for cloth options. When it comes to price, there is going to be an initial bit of sticker shock, but if you average over time and costs of disposable options, the costs will end up cheaper than disposables within a few months of use. With supply chain issues and other world concerns, having a cloth reusable option on hand may be one of the smartest things you do, even if you don't use these products every day. Having an option available is a great investment, People that rely on incontinence products to live an active life should have some reusable options that they trust to work on hand. If you like this video make sure to like and comment on the video. And don't forget to subscribe. If you want to support us consider joining our Patreon or give us a super thank you on YouTube. If you use any links we provide to purchase products we usually earn a small commission and all funds we get go right back to making videos. Thank you for watching and thank as always to our Patreon partners for their continued support. Have a great day.